Ho! Oh, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game of here, welcoming you to another episode of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. And in the last episode, um, there were some things that we had to take care of. Um, not that I remember half of them, but it's okay because we got to the point where we finished our investigation and we are here in case four. Now, I gotta have to have a refresher. So, um, is there... Yes, open my e-handbook. Let's go ahead and review our truth bullets. Because I kind of forgot. I needed to make sure I had all those so that we can kind of get ourselves prepped for this trial. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will earn the right to leave this island. I'm sure you guys are starving by now, but let's get revved up and raring to go. Whoever survives will be treated to a fancy lunch. Guess what? Rabbit curry is on the menu. Huh? I'm not the main ingredient, right? I'm here today because Coach Nekomaru risked his life to protect me. That's true. I'm going to be the one who avenges him. I'll definitely find out who the killer is. I'm definitely not tempted by curry. Got it? Uh, Akane, you seem to have an impressive amount of drool flowing from your mouth. Hey, why don't we try going over the incident? Good idea. We weren't able to leave Strawberry House. So I want to make sure we get a detailed understanding. Um, I discovered Nekomaru's body a little before 7 a.m. I headed over to Grape Tower for Monokuma Taichi and found the body there. Hajime and Chiaki were also with me. Hajime was with Miss Sonia and Chiaki that early in the morning? Don't tell me you three were together since last night! Imbecile! I am not some woman with flexible legs. Oh, <laughs> damn! I finally we got a Sonia clap back, everyone. Let's go. Uh, of course you're not. You're much classier than that. Sure, you definitely weren't thinking up some storms there, Kazuichi. This could probably do the splits real easy. We just happened to run into each other on the first floor of Grape House and went to the tower together. And then. The three of us discovered Nekomaru's body. The body discovery announcement was made soon after. Akane heard that and rushed over. We heard the body discovery announcement too. From Strawberry House, obviously. As I recall, we found out the elevator was out of order, which left us stuck. So we decided to go to the tower for the time being and headed for Strawberry Hall. Someone even broke Strawberry Hall's door button. We gotcha. We didn't go anywhere because of that. Thinking we should at least find some method to communicate, we set our sights on the lounge. Intros. Let's talk about the killer. Anyway, it's definitely someone from Strawberry House. What do you mean, definitely? There's no way a chick would kill someone so cruelly. So it must be one of you Strawberry House dudes. One of you better hurry up and confess. Or I'll break all of you in half! You're the cruelest one here! Now, now. Enough with the lovers' quarrel. We need to think about this seriously. We don't have the luxury of discussing irrelevant things. The incident this time has many questions. The incident notwithstanding, I also have many questions. Then let's start with something even Miss Sony can understand. The weapon. Huh? Well, the weapon is obvious, right? Huh? What the heck, you guys? The weapon. You can totally tell just by looking. <laughs> he's gonna tell. He's gonna say the pillar. You could tell the weapon just by looking. It wouldn't be much of a mystery if that was true. The only thing that the crime scene that looked like a weapon was probably the enormous hammer. I guess we should figure out the weapon first. The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime. That pillar, huh? No, the hammer! 
The killer used that hammer and beat the crap out of him. No, that's wrong. No, I can't accept that that hammer was the murder weapon. Why not? Why can't you accept it? A lot of oil was flowing from Nekomaru's body. Just like human blood, right? If the hammer was used to beat Nekomaru, you'd expect some oil to be on it, at least. But that hammer was clean. So that's why you can't accept that it's the murder weapon. Yep. Well, yeah, but the killer might have wiped off the oil later. Yeah, but only you can do that, mister. And not only that, it doesn't make sense. Why would you do that? Like, that's a lot to clean up and a lot to hide why? in the aftermath. Well, obviously, to make the hammer look like it's not the murder weapon. Then why bother cleaning the oil? If they didn't want it to look suspicious, they would have discarded the hammer. Exactly. You're pretty insightful, baby gangsta. <laughs> Good job, Akane. Baby gangster? Me? <laughs> Just so you all know, I was trying to test you guys. Yeah, totally. I thought, maybe you guys mistook the hammer for the weapon or something. <laughs> totally. No, it's okay, Kazuichi. You didn't know. It seems that was a waste of time. Mm -hmm. And what was the real weapon used to murder Nekomaru? That's still that a good a question. Weapon. There wasn't anything else at the crime scene that looked like a potential weapon. Yeah. Then, how about we look at it from a different angle? If it doesn't have oil on it, it's not the weapon. So whatever has oil on it must be the weapon, right? No. The actual weapon has oil on it, but if it's something that the crime scene that had oil on it, it's the broken pillar. I see. The only thing with oil on it is that broken pillar. Then that pillar is the weapon. Coach Nakamaru got clobbered with that pillar. He might have tried to escape and clobbered himself with the pillar. Nobody could withstand a blow from that pillar. Even if you used 100% of your muscle strength, it would be impossible to wield it as a weapon. Why? We tried to move it, right? Didn't I tell you? Yeah, that pillar was pretty freaking heavy. But there's one dude who could have lifted that pillar. Huh? Who are you talking about? Nekomaru himself. Nekomaru's robot body. With that dude's super strength, I just said this. Pillar would be real easy. <laughs> Funny enough, I literally just said this. So he lifted the pillar, and then what? Did he use it to beat himself? You mean Nekomaru killed himself? Don't be stupid. He's the type to commit suicide. Then even if Nekomaru could have lifted that pillar, it has nothing to do with the case at all. Well, I guess you're right. What the heck? But it does bother me a little. The word suicide. By the way, the fourth murder of this killing school life was apparently ruled a suicide. Huh? No, that shouldn't matter. There's no way Nekomaru would commit suicide. Well, if it's not the pillar, then there's no other weapon we can think of. In a sense, I feel like they're thinking about this in a very logical perspective, like Nekomaru would never kill himself, which is true. I don't think he would never intentionally kill would never intentionally kill himself, but um clutziness can happen especially when you're in a new body. So, it's not off the table that he accidentally did something stupid. Um, there may be a way to use the pillar as a weapon without lifting it. Oh? Huh? For reals? Yes, for reals. I see. So my gut was right after all. All right, it's up to you, Sonia. Prove that pillar was the murder weapon. Understood. Then I shall give it my all. Sonia, here I go. I'm curious what we're agreeing with or how we're going to agree with this. There's no need to lift that pillar. If the pillar was not lifted, beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about 
tipping the pillar over. They aimed right for his head in bullseye. Even I could probably tip it over. Considering the pillar's weight, it probably exerted a ton of force. Sonia, you go, girl! <laughs> I'm getting hella excited! The There's no need to lift that pillar. If the pillar was not lifted, beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? Did I, oh, wait, no. They aimed right for his head what? And that was a miss? Oh, my God. That was considered a miss. The, the fragments were on top, were below. Pillar was beating him with it is what about tipping the pillar over? No, the pillars no, the the things were below, so that can't be it. Sorry, Sonia. If Nekomaru was crushed by the pillar, then there should yeah. be fragments on top of his body. Huh? Fragments? The pillar fragments were scattered beneath Nekomaru's body, but there weren't any on top of his body. If the pillar had been tipped over and crushed him, the fragments should have been on top of his body instead. I briefly considered that too, but it's probably not what happened. I, I see. That was entirely my bad. If they didn't tip it over, then how did the killer murder Nekomaru with that pillar? How much longer are you gonna focus on the pillar? Just let it go already. There, there's no way I can let it go. I'm positive that Nekomaru was killed by that pillar. Why are you so certain about that? I just. I have a feeling. A feeling, huh? That's just your instincts. But we can't say for sure that that instinct is wrong, can we? Good point. No, no, honestly, I'm actually very proud of uh, Nagido for stepping in for Akane there. Like, uh, because he's right. You can't prove that that's not the case yet. Can we? Possibly. I'm, I'm, pr I'm proud of Nagido on that one. There's another way to use that pillar to kill. You guys just haven't noticed it. Is that true? Then I shall ask you, what way is that? He's not gonna tell you. You gotta figure it out. You guys, same as usual. You're unable to clear a path to the future with your own powers. So you just stand there and falter. What a waste of talent. And you all intend to fight the future foundation? You make me laugh. What did you say? Regardless, it's not like I want to die with the rest of you. So I guess I should lend a hand. Hey, Nagito. What the hell happened to you? How come you're not talking like a lunatic anymore? I've learned a valuable lesson. Ignorance is by far the greatest shame. Huh? What do you mean? Who cares? Just tell us how the pillar was used to kill. Well, first of all, the pillar itself is not enough. Correct. But when combined with a specific the specific item, wire. there's a way it could be possible. A specific item? Of course, the ultimate weapon. The ultimate weapon? Isn't that that thing you get when you clear the final dead room? So, Nagito knows what the ultimate weapon is? Of course I know. But I'm pretty sure everyone else has seen it, you know? We've seen it? That's right. You've seen it clearly. Because I, the one who has claimed dominion over evil, am the ultimate weapon. I am he who cuts the insolent catalyst which flows out from the chaos with the sword of victory. Don't necessarily think that's what we're talking about it's here. It's fitting that I deserve to be called the ultimate weapon. No, you are far greater than the ultimate weapon. Since you wield your four dark devas of destruction. Uh, I, I see. I don't know why, but I'm not liking this. Because your girlfriend just flirted with somebody. Cut the bullshit and say it clearly. What is the ultimate weapon? In order to clarify that, we first need to solve the secret of the funhouse. Huh? The secret of the funhouse? You still don't realize it? Jeez, get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Ah, I forgot. 
Except for Hajime, of course. Damn! Calling us out in front of everyone. Except for Hajime? If we make it out of this, I'll explain it to you guys. Anyway, we must first clarify the secret of the funhouse, right? Then I think it must have something to do with the structure of the funhouse. Strawberry house leads to Strawberry Tower, and Grape House leads to Grape Tower. So, what if, and this is a wacky thought, but what if the middle room is like, if it, instead of east and west, it flipping north and south? Because, and here's why this wacky situation is coming into my, into my head, is if you go... If you look up in into in north, right? And this is some anti-gravity wacky ass bullshit that I'm thinking about. But you go north, right? And you're looking up and you're facing north. But if it's not necessarily a straight up building and it's a building that's on its side, could it couldn't you necessarily make it so that the top room faces north and the or either way it doesn't matter but one way faces north and the other way faces south i know that's some weird ass bullshit that i just thought about but you know that's possible but in actuality they are both the same building and both houses are linked to the central tower which is why when you flip it the 180 degrees that's why the structure of the funhouse looked the same on the coin flip. And Nekamaru was on the right side. And the side Because with us going 180 degrees, he also went 180 degrees the same direction. It is undeniable that such a sweet building structure is the secret of the funhouse. Man, not only does that make perfect sense, but Miss Sonia's beautiful voice is just so soothing. Show. I shall leave this matter to your discretion. The two houses are connected to the tower in the middle. I thought that at first too, but I ended up finding proof that completely contradicts that. Wait, we did? In truth, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the exact same place. So that's the secret of the funhouse. Is that really it? It's weird to say they're both the same place. I mean, the walls are different colors. That's not gonna... And the designs on the floor are also different. We've already settled this problem. Give it ten years before you argue with Miss Sonia. Yeah, exactly. In truth, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the exact same place. No, that's wrong. Both of those towers, are they really the same place? Wh why are you asking that now? Do you harbor a grudge because my kingdom destroyed your homeland? Hajime, I won't tolerate any sort of rebellion. I mean, doesn't it seem strange? When we went to Grape Tower from Grape Hall, Nekomaro's body was in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. But when we went to Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall, his body was in front of the door to Grape Hall. It's probably some kind of trick, like the floor rotating 180 degrees or something. If it is, then see? That means it could have passed as the exact same place, right? If so, then what? Do you seriously think such a simple answer is the correct answer? Does that mean he's wrong? Oops, I guess I've said too much. If the floor didn't rotate, then that means we need to think about the structure of the building again. Bow down! I was waiting for this. Okay. I, I knew Sonya was going to contradict us. Then how about this? Somebody moved Nekomaru's body. 
But why? While we were moving from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower? But we should have all been together during that time. Even if they tried to move the body inside the tower. You see blood streaks and a whole bunch of things. Then Monokuma did it. Yeah. While we were moving, but that doesn't work. Quickly moved things around. No. But Nekomaro's body wasn't the only thing moved. Are you saying the broken pillar was moved too? If it is too heavy to carry, let them roll it. Just like if there is no bread, let them eat cake. Uh, oil on the floor, oil on the floor, oil on the floor. There are many different ways. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. Moving the body and the pillar in such a short time. That might be hard even for Monokuma, don't you think? It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong, wielding the, the pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene. Allow me to cut through. The yes, sir. Uh, let go. We're. <laughs> I, I'm scared that they were gonna have a stuck point, but it would have been impossible to move the oil on the floor. Huh? When the position of Nekomaro's body and the pillar changed, the oil surrounding his body moved too. Physically moving all of the oil like that is simply not possible, no matter how you look at it. Then it's impossible to think it was moved. I... I am terribly sorry. I cannot believe I got so fired up. It's all right. A fired up Miss Sonia is awesome to watch. So what really happened? Does that mean the two towers aren't the same building? No. Hmm. We can't be certain of that either. Not when the experiment involving the handbook I left on the tower floor was a complete success. Yeah, the e-handbook was still there. That's why we thought the two towers were the same building. If they're not the same building, or two different buildings, then what are they? Hmm. Hmm. No idea, huh? This mystery ties into the secret to the fun house. But we don't have enough clues to solve that mystery. And the only thing we can do is rely on one person who has those clues. Hey, Nagito. I thought it would come to this. I knew my turn was coming up. Fine. I'll tell you guys a big hint that can help you solve the secret of the funhouse. Give us the answer, not a friggin' hint. But then it wouldn't mean anything. I need you guys to do this class trial properly. It's also important for me because it will help me determine something. Determine? Is he talking about the traitor? If so, why did Nagito just say that all of a sudden? Did something happen so to him? How do we know your hint is any good? It's suspicious that you're the only one who knows it. I have a good reason for that. The reason I'm the only one who knows it is because I was the only one who performed the appropriate action. He performed the appropriate action in order to learn uh, the life-threatening game. I see. You're talking about the final deadline, right? You cleared the life-threatening game there and found something, didn't you? That's right. The hint is what I saw after I cleared it. In the depths of the final dead room, there was a hidden room surrounded by concrete. And there, a small conspicuous window waited, all by itself. From that window, I saw some very strange scenery. Strange scenery? Instead of explaining it, it might be faster just to show you. At an opportune time, I found a perfect camera in the final dead room. You took a picture? Yep. Now you know grinned creepily as he retrieved the small digital camera from his inner pocket. See, this is it. And as he said that, he showed us a peculiar picture. Let me explain it to you again. I took this picture on the first floor of Strawberry House from the secret room within the final dead room. Yeah.
But he's not on the first floor, he's on the third. Don't you think it's weird? If the Funhouse's structure is what you guys have been thinking, then there's lots of things that don't make sense in this picture, right? Yeah, absolutely. This this is more more so what I was thinking. Lots of things that shouldn't make sense in this picture. Then let's begin. Shall I call it thinking time? What does it make sense in this picture? Spot selection. Here. If the structure of the fun house is what we thought it was. Grape House and Strawberry House should link to the tower in the middle. Which means, if you're viewing the tower from Strawberry House, you should see Grape House behind it. But in this photo, I don't see anything behind the tower. No shadow, no shadow, yeah. no Grape House at all. Yep. I see. And is that it? Now I get to say lots of things that don't make sense in this photo, which means there's another contradiction on it. What doesn't make sense? This over here. It's the tower, right? There's only one in the picture. That's what we've been thinking all along, which means it's not natural to... Oh, shit. said this photo was taken from the hidden room inside the final dead room. Yeah, it's, I, I, yeah. If that's the case, then that means it should have been taken from the first floor of Strawberry House. Yeah, it should have been. Then, this is definitely strange. This photo doesn't look like it was taken from the first floor. The angle suggests it was taken from higher up. That's right. Good call. In summary... This is the truth contained in this photo. I didn't think that... I didn't think I'd actually get the, the tower thing. So I thought that we were still going for, like, this is the first floor thing. Anyway, whatever. First floor in Strawberry House is located in a high area. And Grape House is not behind the tower. Ruin my perfect. It's fine. It's not. Are you saying that Grape House is merely an illusion spell cast by Monokuma's cursed eye? No. From this point on, do your own thinking. Now that you've finally met the same requirements as me, if you guys are truly symbols of hope, you can easily solve a simple mystery like this. It might be possible for Hajime to solve it too, even though he's just a normal high school student. Despite the fact that you don't have a real talent, you already know about the other clue. The other clue? Is he talking about that one time? Why, hello there, Hajime. The Nagito, but why are you here? Ah, uh, because I showed up. You showed up? How did you even come here? Ah, uh, maybe I teleported. You're referring to when you suddenly appeared on the second floor of Grape House, right? I'm asking you just to be safe. At the time, where do you think I came from? The top floor, right? No. Such sharp eyes. So you realized it already. Top floor. So the third floor? But the Monokuma Archive should be the only room on the third floor of Grape House. What does it mean? Was that thing just a now another hit? To figuring out the mystery behind the Funhouse's structure? The reason Nagido appeared from the third floor, using a photo he took, I might be able to find the answer if I just think about it. All right, let's do this. Logic dive! I actually like the logic dives, not gonna lie. I like, the, like this is one of my favorites. This is where I... Oh, shit. There's three questions in this logic dive. I don't know why I'm trying to go for... 
Question one. Do Strawberry House and Grape House both exist? Yes. Why would they not exist? It almost scares me that I got a question like that. Shit. I need to slow down. Like, I'm losing a lot of life for no reason. Oh! I just liked it that. Okay. Are Strawberry House and Grape House the same building or two different? Shit! No! Fucking hell, I... There, there we go. They are the same building. It, I, okay, so then my original prediction was right. Yeah! Uh, wait, wait, wait. How are they positioned with each other? Uh, they're vertical. They're vertical. They're vertical. They're vertical. Because... Yeah! Holy shit! What the hell? It's all coming together. How did my BS prediction, like, come through? What the... Secret of the fun house. Then let me hear it. What kind of answer will you give, I wonder? In the picture Nagito took from Strawberry House, I didn't see Grape House at all. So where did Grape House go? There is only one possibility. It was in a position where it couldn't be seen from Strawberry House. Which means Strawberry House and Grape House are in the same building, but on different floors. Same building? different floors then the two houses aren't two different three-story buildings they're actually one six-story building if you think about it like that based on nagito's picture it's clear where strawberry house is located yeah strawberry house is located on top of grape house i see on top of grape house that's where strawberry house is located because of that, the photo taken from the first floor of Strawberry House was at a high angle. Altogether, this means the first floor of Strawberry House was also the fourth floor above Grape House. Oh, snap. I never expected that the two houses were connected vertically. But what about the shape of the building? The two houses were completely different shapes. Um, Strawberry House is four-sided, and Grape House is six-sided, right? It never occurred to us that they were the same building because it was structured with two different shapes. A quadrilateral and a hexagon. Overlaid atop each other to misdirect how we would perceive them. Exact, and they fit. Yep. And it worked, didn't it? Disregarding the tower, we fully believed the two houses were two separate, distinct buildings. In order to conceal the unique design of the fun house, Monokuma put us to sleep so we couldn't look at the outside of the building when he brought us to it. You've just been kumad! <laughs> Don't you think a building full of so many surprises totally deserves to be called a fun house? Then it's true? The building was really like that? That's right! Those two houses exist on different floors in the same building! Constructing a building like that on your own without my knowledge? H how horrible! Then what about the towers? Are they arranged vertically just like the houses? Yeah, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower should have also been different floors inside the same building. Just like Strawberry House was on top of Grape House. Strawberry Tower was also on top of Grape Tower. Yeah! Exactly! This is exactly what my brain was envisioning. What the hell?!
doors within the same building, why was Nekomaru's body in both places? Because you can rotate it on the Z axis. Ah, your precious hammies don't know, but it's so simple. Alrighty then, I'll be the one who solves this mystery in a flash. Please watch me, Miss Sonia. Oh, I see. Do whatever you like. <laughs> You're getting hard denied, Kazuichi. I would just stop. Oh, definitely make her watch me. I'm gonna stand out till she notices me. Is it to make your argument time? So I can agree with Kazuichi, hopefully, possibly? Wire, good night button, tipped over pillar, chain, broken doorknob, strange feeling in the tower. Uh I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash. And hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy. You fucking idiot. You mean a fake body? Nekumaru died with a mechanical body. It should be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. You're a magnificent Gundam. No fair. You totally stole my spotlight. So which one was the fake body? Shut up. Just pick one of them. body okay so no it's not the good night button oh wait no the wire dummy. no dummy. no dummy. no okay dummy. no dummy. oh i wasn't act okay i disregarded that piece of evidence and i shouldn't have okay Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy. That can be proven by Kazuichi's account. That was okay. I disregarded it because we already used it to prove something earlier. I shouldn't have. Again, I shouldn't have done that. Me? Remember? When we moved from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower, we thought the body had moved. And that's when you said... Not just that. The parts I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. Right up until that moment, you were disassembling Nekomaru's body at Great Tower, right? The killer couldn't have known how you'd take apart his body, so they couldn't have built the dummy. Unless Kazuichi was the one who built the dummy, then it would be a different story. <laughs> Miss Sonia, that's a pretty harsh joke. You are joking, right? It's all right. Kazuichi is not the killer. If he was... He wouldn't have fixed the elevator or the button in Strawberry Hall. It'd be much more convenient for the killer if it stayed broken. I see. That is disappointing. I'm even more disappointed. However, even if Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy, it's meaningless if we don't have the important answer. The reason Nekomaru's body was in both towers, even though it was supposed to be on different floors. Maybe it would simply move? The body moved to a different floor? You can't think of a device like that? A device that moves things to different floors in the same building? Um, uh, a dumb waiter. A device like that. A device that transports things to different floors of the same building. I feel like I've seen that before. All right, let's do this. A dumb waiter or an elevator, but Talking about an elevator. What? Are you saying Nekomaru's body was transported using an elevator? Where the hell is this elevator anyway? It's the tower itself. Yeah. The inside of the tower is one big elevator. 
which means the tower was designed so that the whole room goes up and down like an elevator. So whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, it all leads to the same room, right? So that's why we could only enter it from one side or the other. Okay, so it wasn't 100% what I was thinking. What I was thinking was really far-fetched. But, okay, that's important. Now that you mention it, sometimes when I pressed the door button, it took a while for it to open. I see. We were basically waiting for the room to arrive just like an elevator. <sighs> Please hold on. If the inside of the whole tower ascends and descends like an elevator... Then why is there a picture of a strawberry on the far back door when you enter from Grape Tower? And a picture of a grape on the far back door when you enter from Strawberry Tower. Because it can rotate. If the room just moves up and down like an elevator, there's no reason for the doors to change. That's why it rotates 180 degrees. Plus, after the incident, the far back door in Grape Tower had chains wrapped around it, right? But when we entered Strawberry Tower, those chains were gone. Not just that, but if I remember correctly, even the doorknob was broken off. <laughs> there are too many strange things. Was that tower really an elevator? When you see people and things, make sure you focus on the good parts instead of the bad. What did you say? So, let's put aside what's changed and focus our attention on what hasn't. Why do we have to do that? It's fine. Come on. What does everything that hasn't changed have in common? The things that didn't change when we moved between the two towers. That includes the body, the pillar, and the oil. We've been talking about stuff for a while now. There shouldn't be anything strange about them, not even the fact that they're, they all moved with the elevator. Um, the one thing that they have in common. I see. Is it safe to say that all the items on the floor didn't change? And? And? Why did the picture on the far back door change? If you can figure that out, you'll have the answer. The reason is because that elevator has something unique about it. There's something unique about the elevator. I see. Yeah, so what I was thinking. So that's it. The elevator was designed so only the floor moved. Only the floor moved? Which means the whole room wasn't an elevator. Only the floor was. That's why we saw different doors in each tower. Which means on the first floor of Grape Tower, the door on the far back wall had a strawberry design. And on the fourth floor, which was Strawberry Tower, a different door on the far back wall had a grape design. Then, where do the different floors lead? I want to say they lead outside, but they're probably just for show. Just for show? Why was something like that necessary? So we'd falsely believe that the doors were connected to where their picture signified. It was actually very effective. Because of that, we totally misunderstood the building's structure. I don't get it. But I guess it means whoever designed this building had a totally twisted personality. Did you hear that, Monami? Don't blame this on me. Take responsibility <laughs> for yourself. Then I'll take responsibility and gently caress you. Uh, like, there's no way that's gonna happen. Stop with the tasteless jokes. By the way, what does the chain on the far back door in Grape Tower mean? It was... Probably wrapped there by the killer to keep us as far from Strawberry Tower as possible. Why? Because of that chain. You guys thought you couldn't enter there, right? 
like you said, I could probably use those parts of the repair button, but seriously, hold on. Even if you do repair the button, what's going to happen to the chain from the other side of the door? Chain. That door leads to the strawberry hall, and the chain's wrapped around the doorknob. And even if you fix that button on the strawberry hall side, the door won't even open as long as the chain's there. Aw, oh, you don't need to worry about that at all. Huh? The killer destroyed the strawberry hall button, so we'd stay away from strawberry tower. Everything was done to tamper with the evidence, so we wouldn't find out about the secret of the funhouse. The appearance of a body in the tower would contradict what we thought we knew about the building. In that situation, if we'd gone to Strawberry Tower, we'd have seen that contradiction firsthand. And using that as a clue, we might have discovered the truth. The truth that the two houses and the two towers are actually one complete vertical building. The killer wanted to keep us from learning that. That's why they made us stay away from Strawberry Tower. They destroyed the button and wrapped a chain around the door just for that? Would it really have inconvenienced the killer if we learned the true structure of the building? It would have been a major inconvenience. After all, this funhouse is strongly connected to the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru. Hold on. You're progressing much too quickly. There's still a contradiction concerning the building structure. What a pain. It's fine already. Gundam, please proceed. You said earlier that Strawberry House and Grape House are connected vertically, right? If so, how does the contact elevator supposedly transport us from one house to the other? I see. Now that you mention it, I completely forgot about that matter. If that elevator moves vertically. Then, when your back is facing the elevator, both towers should be on the same side. But, does this reflect reality? Inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is to the elevator. But, it's, yeah. And inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is to the elevator. Yeah, because the elevator goes up and over. That's why you had the, the, the thing rotate 180 degrees. That's why the compass did that. Which means the houses are on exact opposite sides of the tower. No, it, it just means that the elevators are on the opposite side of the tower. Answer me, fiend. What does this mean? What does this mean? I agree. What does this mean? But in fact, when my back was facing the elevator, the grape house, the tower was on my right. But in the strawberry house, it was facing the left. How can I break through this contradiction? Kazuichi's account. There it is. If the two houses are connected vertically, the elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. No, that's wrong. The elevator wasn't just moving vertically. Isn't that right, Kazuichi? Huh? Me? Hey, come on. You used the elevator while you were holding that compass Nagito gave you. Ah, uh, that. Yeah, it was pretty strange. From start to finish, somehow the compass needle rotated 180 degrees. Rotated 180 degrees? Meaning, as the elevator moved between the two houses, it also rotated 180 degrees. Yeah. It was probably following the building's perimeter as it rotated to the other side. Yeah, that makes sense. Which means the exit That's what I was saying, up and over. Once you arrived at the other house, right? And thanks to that, the tower we saw on our right side when we arrived at Grape House appeared on our left side when we were at Strawberry House. An elevator that rotates while it moves. Is that even possible? It's like something from an amusement park. We are in an amusement park. Well, a fun house is 
is an amusement park attraction, you know. And since the building doesn't really need to be structurally practical, it makes for some splendid fun. That's not splendid at all. You're inhuman. You say I'm inhuman, but I'm just a bear. So I'm <laughs> human to begin with. That's good. I'm different from these lowly humans. So we're done with the secret of the fun house, right? Then let's start talking about the important stuff. What's the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru? And how'd they combine it with the pillar? Huh? You still don't know what the ultimate weapon is yet? It's what I found at the octagon, you know? What is the octagon? I haven't heard about that yet. Oh, my. I can't believe I have to explain that now. As long as you know what an octagon means, you can solve this simple mystery easily. An octagon means an eight-sided shape. I see. That was a gimme. If I recall, an octagon is a shape with eight sides, right? I didn't expect you to know that. For a substitute reserve course student, you're quite knowledgeable. I guess I should continue listening. Where is the place befitting of the name octagon? Place befitting of the name octagon. It's probably... Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. I can't rotate this picture. What would be befitting of the name Octagon? Here. You're talking about the secret room surrounded by concrete in the depths of the final dead room. Why is that place the Octagon? You know how the four-sided strawberry house is on top of the six-sided grape house? I got that last second. Four-sided shape out of a six-sided one. You get eight edges. It becomes an eight-sided shape. That's basically the gist of it. Dang. Because you add the two from the other. The true identity of the octagon is that secret room in the depths of the final dead room. In actuality, that place contained various weapons. Then the ultimate weapon was there too? That's a little different. I learned the true identity of the ultimate weapon at the octagon. Learn? The true identity of the ultimate weapon is the fun house. Which means the killer used the building structure as their weapon and killed Nekomaru. Like me, the killer probably realized the secret of the funhouse from the scenery. And then thought of a way to kill making use of the building structure. The funhouse itself is the weapon. So they killed using the building structure? That's why the killer tried to keep us from learning the mystery of the building. But more importantly, using the building itself as a weapon? Such a spectacular crime. <laughs> it truly deserves to be called the ultimate weapon. I am so innocent to not know what, why, and how. The fun house is destroyed any of the ultimate weapon? What does this mean? How did the killer use it to murder Nekamaru? And who's the killer who did that? Figured, okay, I figured we were gonna do this, okay. Hiya. Why, hello there! I thought of a new bad word to call you, Monami. Uh, I can already tell I won't be pleased with this! Oh, let me say this right away. <laughs> I'm already used to the insults and sl- I'm already used to the insults and slander! There's no way I will get hurt by a mere word! Monami? Is seriously stuff a laddie. Th that's more of a 
more straightforward than I expected. Stu fla Stu Stu Fat Lee. Huh? Tisk tisk tisk. That's not it. That's not it at all. Stupid, fat, and ugly. Just the perfect jet stream attack incorporating all three of these words. Ta-da! Stuff at Lee! Huh? What? There's a fat hidden in there! Okay, everyone. All together now. Monami is a serious stuff at Lee. And on that random ass note... Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. We are going to take on and tackle the second half of this trial in the next episode. Love you all so much. Bye!